So the first thing we're going to need to do is collect all the equipment we need. This is listed on our blog. Optional items include strong tape. I suggest using stronger tape than I have here and scissors. The first thing we need to do is get our paper clips and our battery. Our battery should have a positive and a negative input. This is where we're going to attach our paper clips, which are acting as wires in this case. Make sure you're using paper clips that don't have plastic coating for this. Now all you need to do is use your fingers to bend the wire into shape until it's securely fastened. Do this to both paper clips. If they're not staying on, you can use the tape to attach them and hold them securely in place. Just make sure they're not touching in the middle. Now the next thing we're going to do is make our wires a little bit longer by attaching foil to our paper clips. Now we can do this by cutting out a piece of tin foil, two inches by six inches long, folding that up lengthways about three times and then folding it around the paper clip. You can then fold the paper clip over so it's securely attached. Do this to both paper clips and we will almost have a full circuit. Okay, let's check our circuit works by attaching our ball. We do this by making a little ball holder at the end of the foil. If your bulb doesn't look exactly like ours, just come up with a way to attach your foil using tape or paper clips. Just make sure that the circuit is complete. And there you go, ours is working, hopefully yours is too. But we're not finished yet, the next step is to attach a switch. So we can turn our light bulb on and off as we wish. And to do this we need two more paper clips. These can be plastic coated, that's fine. And a piece of paper or card. We also need another wire. So this is where our light bulb will attach. So make another little light bulb holder and then we can attach our switch. In this case, it's made up of paper and paper clips. So finish the circuit with your switch in it. Just check that when you fold it, your wires meet comfortably and then close your circuit by inserting your ball. And there we have it, when we close our switch, the light bulb turns on. 